Sneaker fans, listen up. Whether it's a sprint or a marathon, when it comes to running, Kenya is a force to be reckoned with, home to some of the world's greatest runners. My first guest had a vision to translate Kenya's athletic excellence into a running shoe, and she did. It's called Enda, the first high-performance athletic shoe made in Africa. And joining us all the way from Nairobi, Kenya, is Enda Sportswear co-founder and CEO, Navalayo Osimbo. Navalayo Osimbo, welcome to Black Renaissance. Thank you so much. I'm super excited to be here. You know, this story, it started with an algorithm. I was scrolling through my phone and a sneaker popped up and I, uh -huh. it said made in Kenya. And, you know, I'm like, loves all things African. I click through and in less than a week, that shoe was on my foot, my feet, and I absolutely <laughs> love them. I'm glad you got your shoes and I'm so glad you love them. Your curriculum vitae speaks for itself. Honors, awards, degrees, London School of Economics, Nairobi University, even Stanford School of Business. So, so you're actually a home girl <laughs> by default. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But where in all those places did you learn the courage to take on the, shop, the top running shoe brands? I, we're not even going to mention their names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't even, I don't feel like it's courage. I just felt like it was something that needed to be done. It just felt like, uh, why was there no running shoe when you're kind of like talking to Kenyan athletes who are like the world's best runners? And so it just presented itself as an opportunity and it felt the need to create um, and fill that gap. Kenya's Great Rift Valley. This land has forged the best runners in the world. These roads are the perfect laboratory, the perfect testing grounds for making the world's best running shoe. That's what we've done. Now you and your co-founder, Weldon Kennedy, you ran a successful crowdfunding campaign to get everything started. And it's burgeoned into a global operation with multinational teams in Kenya, Asia, the US. Yes, I'd say the most exciting thing is the same way we're having the interview here is the same way the internet just gives you so much discovery in terms of the people and the talent and the things you can do. We used LinkedIn searches, we basically uh, tried to talk to different people to give us references and that's how we ended up with people around the world who are aligned in terms of vision and that's how we put the team together and that's how we've been rolling since then. That's like Harambe, the country's motto. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And that's also why we put the word Harambe at the bottom of all our feet, of all the shoes. Um, so the soul has the input of the word Harambe. It just basically means what is impossible to achieve as an individual is possible to achieve when you have a, a community of people supporting you. The idea was how can we tap into something that we are really good at and use that opportunity to create economic benefit, not just for us, but for people around the world. Because I think while Kenyans are great runners, there's so much of an ethical culture about what makes them great runners that is worth sharing the world with, you know, the discipline, the community, the, the nutrition. There's so much about it that, you know, it felt worthy of sharing that with the rest of the world. Well, you know, let's talk shoes. There's something for every type of runner. I think there are three yeah. different styles. Yeah, there are. I mean, initially when we went to the athletes, we were like, give us what makes the best running shoe. You help us design the best running shoe. And what really surprised me was the, the response was like, there's no one good running shoe. There's a series of running, you know, running styles. And you want to make sure that you are having the right type of shoe for the right type of run. And so the first we made was a lightweight trainer. It's ideal for, you know, five to 20 kilometers. It is very light on your foot. It almost feels like you're not, you know, having anything weighing down your foot. Mm -hmm. And then we created a daily trainer. Uh, the daily trainer um, is for longer distances, it has more cushioning. And lastly, we created a trail shoe. And so that one is, again is for tougher terrain. You've got a rainbow sole that I saw. That was pretty cool. Yeah, so that's the latest one. We just recently launched it in the U.S. about, um, you know, two days ago. Mm -hmm. So the Rainbow Runner was basically, um, you know, targeted towards um, getting more people to learn about pride and, you know, have that awareness. There are some certain topics that, you know, are really difficult to converse from an African perspective. And so we are always saying, like, you know, let's 
let's take time to discuss something. And so that's why the shoe, while it's, you know, a fantastic running shoe, it's also giving a certain message because the person who's buying it will be like, what does that mean? And I think it's worth having those conversations and it's why we are, you know, kind of like happy to have launched that shoe. Well, you know, I was shocked when I ordered my shoes. They were on my doorstep in a matter of days. That is incredible. Yeah, so that was one of the things we wanted to make sure that, you know, in this connected world, whatever you, you kind of like order comes very quickly to you. And so we do have a fulfillment center in the U.S. Uh, right now it is split between Utah and California. But so if you're ordering the shoes, you've already done the step of making sure that the inventory is already sitting next to the customer. So when you order the shoes, they come to you really quickly. I love my shoes, Nava. Listen. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us on Black Renaissance. Thank you. Thank you so much. Run, don't walk, and check out these kicks. The website is endasportswear.com.